we're talking about people from Montclair State University, how could we not talk about our beloved mascot, Rocky the Red Hawk? And joined with us this morning, we have Hannah Lindeblad, who is the manager and advisor of student communications, which is including Team Rocky. We will be discussing the new Rocky mascot that has joined the mascot family. Welcome to WMSC. Hi, thanks so much for having me this morning. Of course, we're so excited to talk about this great new mascot that has joined the new design. But to start off, for those who might not know, can you tell us a bit about Team Rocky? Sure, yeah. So I started at Montclair back in 2015, and I was a student here prior to that. Um, and Team Rocky didn't exist until 2015. So it was kind of interesting timing that I started the same year that Rocky was born. Um, or Team Rocky was born. And it all kind of started because there was a grad student in my office, his name was Kyle, and he saw a need for some additional school pride. So he worked alongside my former director, Cindy, who just retired, and our former vice president, Dr. Karen Pennington, to build what is now Team Rocky. He did his whole capstone presentation on it for his grad program. And he touched on school pride and the importance of it. And we had a mascot, one of the mascot suits in our space, but there was also suits in other areas. Admissions had a suit prior to that. Athletics had a suit and it was kind of all over the place. You would see different versions of the current Rocky because people had their own costume. And so we wanted to consolidate it and bring it together and really boost that school pride. And, and that's kind of how it began. So it's been a really fun ride for the last nine years, watching it grow and helping it grow. Because after Kyle graduated, I kind of stepped in. And even though I was hired for communications, student communications, our office name, the mascot was just an additional job duty that I didn't necessarily know I was going to be doing and fell in love with. So it's been really fun. I don't I think honestly- anyone... I don't think anyone can deny the impact Team Rocky has had on campus and with school pride. I'm so excited to talk about it more. I can't imagine Montclair not having Rocky. Rocky has just become such a staple within the entire Montclair State community. So I'm very glad that we have Team Rocky and we're just spreading so much pride throughout our campus. And to go into now what was going on with creating the entire Rocky, what was that process like with the design? Yeah, so some history for you. And interestingly enough, because I said I was a student here, I I saw Rocky at homecoming in my commencement. That's it. You guys see him out every week during the semester, if you're lucky, right? So designing the new Rocky has been a two-year process for me. And I didn't take it lightly because I know how loved Rocky is, which is awesome. Um, But it was so necessary. And My first week on the job, I was told by Cindy, go and find out what the students want because we had a a red costume at the time and we were, it was red Rocky. It was actually a mistakenly bought costume and because they're not cheap, we decided to use it. It was brand new. They were using red Rocky, but admissions had a brown Rocky. So I had to go find out from the students if they wanted brown or red. And students voted brown because that's the hawk that flies around campus. The red-tailed hawk is brown with a red tail. So that's who Rocky is. And so brown, so red went away. So we put red in a trunk somewhere and didn't think about it for a few years. And then a few years, we decided we wanted to create another character. So we created Roxy. And we had this old red suit in a trunk, not doing anything. And we're like, well, we can use it. We can make her a little more feminine. And so we did. So Roxy was born. And then even though Team Rocky had consolidated all into one office, I finally got a suit away from admissions and we everybody was working through us with all of the appearances. We also started expanding off campus and we made connections with mascots at other colleges in the area, Princeton, University of Delaware, um, Rutgers. And also the minor league sports teams. We obviously had Jack the Jackal right on campus for a number of years, but we also 
started reaching out further. There's a few other baseball teams, the Trenton Thunder, the Lakewood Blue Claws, if any was from that area of New Jersey. And we even went further into PA. We even met Gritty once. So the mascot world is so interesting, right? Um, Famous. And we learned so much along the way from these other performers and how their costumes were designed. And we notice a lot of flaws in our Rocky costume. So two years ago, I went to buy, because, you know, the suits, we had a couple different ones. Um, and But they get dirty over time. So it was just time to get a new outfit. And so I emailed the company that we were using. And if you had ever been to our office, we had a few different Rocky heads. Even though they were all the same Rocky, the Rocky everybody currently knew. If you looked at them all next to each other, none of them looked the same. And I was just like frustrated with the inconsistency around it. So I emailed the company. I took a picture of all the four heads we had. And I said, hey, like, we're ready to buy a new head. The same one. Nothing changing at the time. I was like, can we get this yellow and this eye shape and, you know, this fit? And the lady emailed me back and she said, well, you know, you've made a lot of changes over the years. It's been hard to keep up. All of these suits are handcrafted by our artisans each time. And maybe you should better find a a different vendor. So this lady broke up with me. This company we've been using for 20 years, which not my favorite company. I knew it was a matter of time for us to jump ship into a better, more reputable, well-known mascot company. But it's expensive and I didn't have the money for it. And I was like, okay. So I started my research. I reached out to all of our mascot friends that we have built over the last few years and ask them where they got their suits and how they get theirs designed. And the other funny thing about it, it's not really funny, but (laughs) the, the costume that we had and the company that we were using, if you had the money for it, you could have hopped on that website and bought your own Rocky costume. Wow. So We weren't originally Rocky for Halloween. So much so that we were at the University of Delaware one time for a basketball game. And we walked in and every all the mascots are getting dressed because it was like mascot day. There was a blue Rocky. (gasps) Blue. I could I have a picture. We did like a face to face. I was like, this is bad. We can't have the same mascot as some other random high school that showed up to this event. So it's I knew that it, that it was necessary to do a redesign so that we could be original. And because Rocky has been such a staple here and starting to really be more than just on the Montclair campus, we needed something that now is trademarked and licensed and nobody can ever come close to his design. I'm happy that Rocky has his own design now and it's original and no one can, you know, take it away from us. And And he's not blue. Exactly. He's not blue. blue. (laughs) But um, can you tell us more about like debuting the design since there was a big Instagram lead up? You had the 4th of July parade. Talk about it. Yeah. So I knew I knew that there was going to be some unhappy people. I expected that there's nobody always likes, haters nobody likes change you know they're used to what they know and that's okay it's comfortable but with all of those things that I mentioned to you I wanted to hype it up as best as I could so that people were like excited and ready for oh something's coming because it is it is a big change like Rocky's still brown he still has a yellow beak and a red tail but He has more cartoony eyes and the shape of his head's a little bit different. So it's when you look at it side by side, you're like, whoa, different. But so I wanted to hype it up. I wanted to also pay tribute to the current past current Rocky and all of the versions of himself before the red outfit, the other two brown costumes, the one that we had been using as Uncle Roy. And I wanted to just have fun with it. So I invited some former rockies back all the, every single one of those rockies in that video that we debuted were alumni and, and they came back for the shoot we did a whole day of it it was so much fun we worked with the university photographer and videographer and we made the production and we split it up into a couple a couple different parts you know playing i think of taylor swift and how she is so like leads up all of her albums and so I was like 
this is what students like now. They they're ready. Like they they want something like this, and so they're ready for it. <laughs> yeah, that. Um, and so we we wanted to have fun with it, and the launch. It's not. It was. It was new and different enough that I think it deserves some attention, and it got attention, and it was too perfect to not do it on July first, the first of the month, a Monday, and in university land. It's a new fiscal year, which means we get new budgets and we start from like coming into this new academic year. So I was like, how how much more perfect can you get with that date? And then the Fourth of July parade is something we participate in every year. The town of Montclair does it and the university has a float and, you know, it's a great community. And I was like, oh, this is a great first debut in person for the for the costumes and for Rocky and Roxy, which is very exciting to have her. Please. Yes, I was about to get into that. The thing I was most excited for about the debut is that we now have an official Roxy. She has her official Roxy the Red Hawk Instagram account. And so we want to talk about like what made you want to add her into this bigger role. Yeah. So like I said, we had that old costume that we had turned into a Roxy, but it was old and it was a mistake. And we didn't have any official clothing for her. And we wanted to really build up on the sister character, not just because the students who were portraying Rocky and who had built her character over the last few years loved her and wanted more for her. But if you look at other universities or other sports teams, you have Mr. and Mrs. Met, like iconic duo. Now they're married. Rocky and Roxy are not. So let's not go there. They are siblings. But there's a lot of universities that have the, the counterpart, whether it's a, a male and a female, a brother and sister, you know, dating however they want to do it it makes it a little bit more fun to go out and have now two characters that you can do so much with and it it's fun you know it touches on different identities and sense of belonging and some people you know connect with something over another and so to have this sister is it's just it's so much fun for our students I think it's I think the campus loves her she's getting she's getting a lot of positive positive comments on her account so we're excited for her I know I'm so excited for her also I love her and with all of this like new changes you kind of touched on this before but like why do you believe like mascots are such an important part of the school's community especially with like school pride as you were talking about earlier yeah it all kind of starts with that right like a lot of students come here and although we're a heavy commuter school there people are here this is their home and you feel the loneliness or the stress of college or, you know, you're, you're doing some things for the first, first time in your life. And to have something on campus that you can feel connected with or to, that you're walking to class and makes you smile or laugh is huge. You know, we have that student, the Office of Student Belonging in the Student Center. And it's one of our pillars at the campus is making sure that students feel like they belong here they are a red hawk they are part of the Montclair state university community and they find their home and their fit here and rocky and roxy and pebbles of course you know help with that and that little touch point that little piece of home that maybe you don't have even if you are a commuter maybe you don't have a great home life we want people to feel that they're welcome here and and the mascots really boost that and and assist and we've gotten only positive feedback there's some students that you know are afraid of mascots or people in costume that's a normal that's a real fear. that is normal like clowns it's a real fear oh yes so you know we know that there's there are some of those students out there or some people that probably think it's weird but the majority of students love rocky and it makes an impact it does make an impact i think the world of Montclair is so much brighter with Team Rocky in it. And just to start wrapping up, can we expect anything new from the Team Rocky in the upcoming school year? Will there be more members of Team Rocky's family getting rebranded? What can we see for the future? I think we've had enough change and new for right now. So we're going to just keep on going with these, with the new looks and, and building them up and hoping to get some more positive spin on it from the student body um, and just getting them out and about as much as possible. But one thing I will say, since we do have Roxy now, I'm so excited that we can have her out by herself. 
So in the past, we would never allow Roxy out without Rocky because it was literally the same costume, just red. So people got confused. What? Why is Rocky? if they didn't know the lore? So mm-hmm. we, I'm really excited for that. She is available to be requested on her own. I'm thinking like women in sports, like Women's History yeah. Month, like you know, just like a girl. She's a girl's girl. So if anybody wants to have just Roxy, that's new. We also, last year, with our partnership with Bloomfield Campus, we're continuing to merge the mascot programs and with Deacon. So Deacon is the Bloomfield bear, if you're unfamiliar with him. He's so cute. Big black bear, cuddly. And so we're we're continuing the partnership there and and trying to build up Deacon as part of uh, Rocky's family and the Red Hawk community. So we have Deacon. We also, I will say... You guys have seen those little Rocky dolls, right? Yes. We have. We're creating a Deacon doll. <gasps> I feel I like I have first to get in that line. Now. It is going to be so cute. We just finished the design, so we're getting the prototype sent to us, and we'll hopefully have them by January. That's exciting. I I will be there. I will be getting one. Put it right next to my Rocky doll. <laughs> and we also created a birthday for Deacon. So his birthday mm-hmm. is February second. You are in my calendar now. So we're really excited to continue to build up Deacon. We're really excited to continue to build up Roxy and her own indiv- individuality. And then Uncle Roy has retired. One of our promo wow. teaser videos, or kind of like a recap of the year, showed him getting on a train. So he's in Florida living his best life. Good for him. And he Ricky deserves getting it. his hand. Ricky is not going anywhere. Students love him. <laughs> He's a weird dude, that 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 bird. But we will still have Ricky a little bit less of what people have probably seen in the last year or two of Ricky, but he will still come out on certain occasions for some extra fun. So well, this Yay. is all so exciting. Thank you so much for joining us, Hannah, for telling us everything we need to know about the new Rocky. I'm personally a huge fan. I'm so excited to get a bunch of photos with Roxy when I'm back on campus in the fall. Mm -hmm. And I think everyone else can say the same. And thank you so much. We hope you have a great rest of your day. And thank you for joining us on WMSC.